Tillman. Hey, hey. How you doing today, man? I'm good. Good. I'm Wayne Hudson. And I'm Jeremy Tillman. Here we are with another coaching tip for the Christ life. We continue today just walking through Psalm 119, just talking about just some key words or phrases in Psalm 119 that the Lord has really spoken to our hearts. Today is Psalm 119, verse 18. It says, Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. Mm. Open my eyes that I may behold wonderful things from your law. Man, that's an awesome statement. Yeah, you yeah. Know, and, I, and personally for me, it's something I need to pray. Yeah. That God, please open my eyes to help me see all the wonderful mm-hmm. things, the wonderful truths as in, in the Word of God. Don't you think that we miss a lot of them because our vision, spiritual vision, sometimes not real good? Yeah, and I, I think uh, for me, I'm saying this for me, I need to pray this this verse mm-hmm. uh, in my life uh, often, in which I don't. Yeah. I don't pray it like I should. Yeah. And uh, th- this is one one prayer that we know for sure God will uh, answer in a mighty way because He wants yes. us to spend time with Him yeah. through His Word. And I love what it says, uh, Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things. Yeah. Just reminds us of the wonder of, of God. Yeah. And the wonder of the truth That's of right. His word, yeah. you know. So we, we would encourage you, but we also want to challenge you today to, as you get in the Word of God, to pray and ask God to open your eyes that you can see the wonderful thing, the wondrous things that are in the Word. Yeah. Man, this, the depth of the riches yeah. in here are untold. It's mm-hmm. unfathomable, man. The truth of the yeah. Word of God. May, may we allow God to open our eyes to see the wonderful truths of his word. And we pray that for you. And we pray that you'll ask God to open your eyes. So that's the coaching tip for today. To ask God to open your eyes to see the truth of his wonderful word. Hope you have a blessed day. And let Jesus be Jesus in you today.